हाई एवरी वन यू आर मोस्ट वेलकम ऑन दिस यूट्यूब चैनल और दोस्तों आप सबको ढेर सारी बधाइया क्योंकि आपकी फैमिली लिटरेचर लवर्स की फैमिली अब हो गई है फिफ्टी के कंप्लीटली फिफ्टी थाउजेंड सब्सक्राइबर सो थैंक्स फॉर यू अनकंडीशनल लव एंड सपोर्ट स्टूडेंट्स इस सेलिब्रेशन की बात मैं एक सेपरेट वीडियो में भी आपसे करूंगा बट नाउ स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज द टाइम टू get into the topic i'm going to discuss with you ugc net june 2020 sept one exam with the detail analysis and this is part 2 part 1 students so you can get the link from description that is given below students okay so yes and you can download the pdf from my telegram i'm really sorry for that because maine aapke liye telegram mein pdf nahi available karai thi स्टूडेंट्स रीजन है उसके पीछे मैं कंप्लीटली हंड्रेड क्वेश्चंस को टाइमली एनालिसिस नहीं कर पाया था बट नाउ स्टूडेंट्स आई एम गोइंग टू अपलोड दिस पर्टिकुलर कंप्लीट पीडीएफ ऑन माय टेलीग्राम सो स्टूडेंट्स यस मेरे टेलीग्राम को ज्वाइन कीजिए और मेरे साथ जुड़े रहे अन अकेडमी एंड यूट्यूब दोनों प्लेटफॉर्म पर एंड ऑन अन अकेडमी फ्रॉम सिक्सटीन ऑफ नवंबर आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ ग्रैंड प्रैक्टिस सीरीज for free for all the students to so download an academy the learning application and follow me there students for free daily series with detail analysis students now see students um, i'm going to start this particular paper so that is part 2 so here is the very first question students see 51 ye question number hai 51 so uh, which one of the following assumptions best this expresses the position of post structuralist criticism so the right answer students the right answer is apprehension of reality in construct this is the right answer students as you can see on your screen the right answer is third one aap students match kar sakte hain and detail so that is given below next one arrange the following in the chronological order of publication so students the right answer on your screen so this is the right answer students so advancement of learning then origin of species on heroes and hero worship and the lives of the poets or life of the most eminent english poets students okay so these are the four work and you have to arrange on chronological order by the way students you can see the advancement of learning so that was appeared in 1605 so it must students it means it must be on first place so jo answer hoga wo start hoga aapka a ke sath students so on two options you can see a now let's see the next one work so the next one work so that is the lives of the most eminent english poets why students because this is the work by shamuel johnson and that was appeared in transitional time period neo classical you know students neo classical hai na and neo classical period mein aapki three ages hain restoration augustan and transitional so transitional period samuel johnson and samuel johnson written lives of the most eminent english poets right so this yes, this this one is yeah 177981 so next place students so see first place francis bacon's advancement of learning as second place students so this is by samuel johnson second place now see the third one place so see on heroes and hero worship so this was appeared in 1841 and origin of species so that was appeared in 1859 so the third one place on heroes worship so this is on third place right so 1 2 3 a d c so students yes a d c right answer third one got it origin of species so origin of species students so this is by charles darwin charles darwin students so you can see charles darwin yes origin of this species charles darwin 1850 9 got it now students so this is what because uh, in um, yes on origin of species you can see the theory of evolution jiski baat charles darwin ne ki hai okay students so aapko right answer pata chal gaya agar aapko ages pata hoti tab bhi aap answer kar sakte the by the way next one so subject of evans controversial essay brothers karmazo 
so trans sub establishion the evils of clergy the eucharist or ecclesiastical code so the right answer of the question is ecclesiastical code of this particular question students you can see brother kamzu okay yes you can search on net and you will find students or by the way mujhe iska bahut zyada detail nahi mila so that's why i'm not providing you the detail arrange the following 18th century magazine in the chronological order of publication so see the critical review the monthly review the gentleman magazine the rambler okay students so yes you have to select right one matching got it now so right one matching and right chronological order so right chronological order okay so going to show you the right chronological order see the critical review so critical review associated with whom students so you know uh, yes it was edited by tobias smollett and oliver goldsmith students and c samuel johnson david hume and john hunter so they contributed okay so see students this was the this is the uh, yes uh, uh, you know students journal so that was appeared in 1756 okay now see monthly review the monthly review students so the next one so associated with ralph griffiths okay by the way agar aapko mere background ka na dikh raha so you don't worry download the pdf and then aapko pata chal hi jayega it's ralph grip associated with ralph grip the students and you know 1749 so 1749 then the gentleman magazine so the gentleman magazine so students associated with edward cave edward cave and appeared in 1749 Four nines. Oh, sorry, students. Yes, Gentleman Magazine. So that is associated with Edward Cave, and founded in one seven three one. Right? And the Rambler. So Rambler, students. You know one of the important periodical associated with Samuel Johnson. And you know, students. This was appeared in one seven five. Zero. So the right chronological students, it is start with C one seven three one four nine five six. Oh, sorry, students. Yes, uh, not five six seven five and then five six. This is student the right chronological order. The fourth one is the correct answer. Next one. Who among the following coined the dictum? The medium is the message. So the medium is the message was coined by. Marcel McLuhan students, right? The statement, uh, the medium is the message, so that is associated with Marcel McLuhan. And what does it mean? So meaning is the meaning that the form of message it may be a print message, it may be a visual or musical message, etc. Determines the way in which the masses will be perceived, right? Students, so this is associated with McLuhan. Next one. So Macaulay's minute, eighteen thirty-five students. You know, so you have to choose the right one combination out of four options. So correct answer. See on your screen, students. So Macaulay minute associated with Thomas Babington Macaulay, and since it was appeared in eighteen thirty-five, you know. 1835 so students right one answer is the prom to promote european literature and science among the natives yes this one is correct impart knowledge of english literature and science through translated text no students and encourage branches of native learning so students no native learning and then see stop expenditure yes thomas babington macaulay said in his Macaulay minute one eight three five. So the right answer is A and B is the right answer, students. Got it now? Clear. Next one. So assertion and then we have reason. So out of assertion and reason, we have to choose which one is correct and which one is incorrect, or both are correct, or students' yes, correct explanation of A or B, whatever it is. Okay, now see. Let's see, students. So first one is both A and R are true, and R is the correct explanation of A. So the right answer, first one is because students signs are never neutral or innocent. Yes, students making different kinds of signs. 
is this a process of emotions or neutral so no students i can say no signs are not neutral okay and in all cases signs are organized into system that conveys some meaning so yes students both are true and a uh, yes r is the correct explanation of a next one so arrange the following critical works in their chronological order of publication preface to lyrical ballad defense of rhyme life of kavli or the frontiers of criticism i'm going to show you the right one answer students as you can see on your screen by the way students you can see the right answer students so arrange the following critical works in their chronological order so lyrical ballad students you know lyrical ballad so lyrical ballad students associated with william wordsworth and preface so that was appeared in 1800 defense of rhyme so 1503 defense of rhyme so that is associated with samuel daniel and then see the next one students so this is life of kavli so life of kavli students so you know life of kavli is associated with samuel johnson right students samuel johnson and life of the most eminent english poet previously i have discussed in which year students life of the most eminent english poets was um came please do write students on comment box and the frontiers of criticism associated with t s eliot thomas stern eliot now students you can easily guess defense of rhyme so this is a work associated with um you know students elizabethan time period right yeah elizabethan jacobian time period so yes and then see preface to lyrical ballad and life of kavli so then later on neo classical time period then romantic time period and then modern time period so this will be the right matching so see students first on first place b b must be there so b students on two options so yes this is the right answer b kids see life of kavli first one and you know second one and then you know students the third one and then the fourth one so this is the right answer students third one right answer ages ko agar aapne jaan liya aap answer kar sakte hain by the way and be happy students agar aapne galat bhi kuch kiya hai so sochiye ki ek bar mujhe dates acche se yaad rakhni hai confirm karna hai cheezon ko so now see arrange the following plays in the chronological order of publication all for love when is preserved school for scandal the country wide dono meeting mein students same type ke question se the so the right answer is students this one as you can see all for love when is preserved the school for scandal and the country wide so you know students the right answer is you can see all for love so that was appeared in 1677 then see when is preserved so this was appeared in 1682 the school for scandal so this was appeared in 1777 the country wide so 1675 so students so you know the first place uh, on the first place 1675 and then you know uh, yes 1675 so this is the country wide d must be on first place so second answer students only with the help of one option only knowing that country wife was appeared in 1675 so it means aapko pata chal gaya got it now now see the next one question i hope students you are enjoying the video so do not forget to like and share with your friends too a research hypothesis is so students you know this is the question from unit 10 research method and material in english so the right answer is a theory students yes the right answer is b and d you know b and d so b and d a provisional explanation of anything a statement right yes a statement next one so which two characters speakers when the following exhibit the studious abstraction of a scholar so you know two characters of them who were the great lover of books and study so students one is hamlet you know sylock so, students so you know the character that is a kind of students villain in uh, in the uh, the play 
uh, merchant of Venice and Mosca students so you know the character that appears in Ben Johnson's play right so El Penseroso and uh, Hamlet so these are the two characters they were uh, extremely interested in study next one so match the list one with list two so uh, you know Cartier, Fisk, Baudu and Janice Bradway. So you see, in your exam, what kind of questions are there? Distinction, students, yes, on first meeting or on second meeting, you can also check, students. I'm going to bring a second meeting for you for you. So Pierre Baudu, wow, great students. So match C2 first one. So check out C2 first one. Wow, students. So C2 first one on third option. Let's see. Wow, correct answer is third one, students. Yes, distinction. So this is the term and even the work associated with Pierre Bourdieu. So see, distinction, students, a social critic of the judgment of taste 1981 by Bourdieu. Okay. And reading the romance is a book by Janice Radway. By the way, new one. So Janice Broadway students reading the romance and Pierre Bourdieu and Nissel Chikatu John Fisk. So students understanding popular culture. So that is associated with yes, students. So understanding popular culture. So that is associated with John Fisk in reading the popular students. So by the way understanding and in reading the popular so thoda sa name students different hai maybe ki bahut sare log question uh, yahan se uh, dispute raise kar sakte hai right students yes and then see uh, the next one so this is the last one this will be got you so the practice of everyday life so this is the right matching and third one correct answer which of the following are the major themes in William Congreve's The Way of the World? So in The Way of the World, students, even the, uh, this particular question has been repeated. So Way of the World, students, this is a comedy of manner having five acts by William Congreve and published in 700, 1700, students, right? One, seven, double, zero. So students, yes, this is the right answer. The next one. Keats, Wordsworth, Shelley, and Blake. You know, students, each of the work students, I know, you know the answer. So, Keats, students, Lamia, William Wordsworth, students, Excursion, P.B. Shelley, Alastair, or the Spirit of Solitude. And you know, the William Blake, so Songs of Experience. Wow, great, students. Answer you got, second one is the right answer. Got it now? Second one. Next one, arrange the following plays in their chronological order. By the way, if I am little bit fast students, so then no problem, enjoy kijiye. So arrange the following plays in their chronological order. The country wife, the symbol in, Spanish tragedy, the rivals. So we have to select a chronological order. Once more students are question on chronological order. So on you can say June um, yeah, 2020 exam chronological order was a number of time on your exam students, right? So see the correct answer. Correct answer is the country wife. The Country Wife by William Wesley and this was appeared in 1675 and then you know the next one symbol in associated with William Shakespeare 1611. A Spanish tragedy so this was appeared in 1587. The rival so this is associated with R. V. Sheridan and appeared in 1775. So wonderful now I'm going to uh, make the chronological order. So you know students, a Spanish tragedy, so this was appeared in Elizabethan time period, right? Symbol in, so Jacobian time period. The country wipe students, so you know country wipe, so restoration time period. And the rivals, so the rivals was appeared in students last period of the time, so you know transitional time period, okay. So yes, now you can easily select the chronological order because uh, Elizabethan time, first time period is students, okay. Then Jacobian later on. So now see Spanish tragedy on first place, so on two options. And let's see the next one. So symbol in because Elizabethan Jacobian. So C and B. So choose C and B. So third one, right answer students. You got the right answer. This is the right way to choose the answers on your exam. And on YouTube platform, 
no one is interested to teach you like this by the way students uh, i don't know really what i'm doing but i'm trying to do my best so that you can learn each and everything and even enjoy your exams different exams it may be dct pct ug cnet or gate set or any other exams students so please do subscribe the channel next one so which two of the following inspired the rise of the periodical is the robert burton franco isl rabelis or francis bacon missile d montague so the right answer students you have to choose the right combination from here so choose the right combination uh, c and d only students the right answer this one is the right answer why students because periodical essays who inspired so you know uh, uh, yes montague and francis bacon father of english essays uh, yes you know students yes um, francis bacon and montague so back in ko montague se kaafi influenced hue the back in he kudi so this is this is what you can see and montague so he was a french uh, yes essayist and from sai word the word essay came and you know prince of english essays so charles lamb must remember next one so in which poem uh, of philip larkin that deals with the trauma of rape victim so the right answer of the question is so it's a deception first one is the right answer students right deception by philip larkin tells of the aftermath of a young woman's rape and the way both rapist and victim were changed so this is the subject of the poem of philip larkin right answer is de deception and you can see this is the complete form students you may go through see the next one uh, which two poems in the following list are example of dramatic monologue you know so alfred law tenition ulysses philip larkin church going and carol and duffy medisha and catherine phillips a married estate you know students aapko pata ho right answer ya na ho but i know the right answer the right answer is because you know ulysses alfred law tenition ulysses so this is a dramatic monologue so first of all choose a on first place so on two options you can see a is on first place then see the next one so alfred law tenison philip larkin church going so it's not basically a dramatic monologue because there must be a character and a silent listener a speaker and a silent listener and on philip larkin no one is listening carol and duffy so madusha yeah this is the poem that is a dramatic monologue right students and this is a dramatic monologue by a woman who is insecure and worried that her husband is cheating on her so uh on this time students on exam what i found basically so the contemporary situation and the conflict and the, you can see students the security of women and also this kind of issues have been widely explored explored on exam uh church going students so this is simply a poem by philip larkin and then students made you shut so you got the right answer students okay so correct answer this is tenition and duffy so a and c is the right answer students yes next one poetry according to sir philip sidney is of three kinds they are so so super easy question super easy three types of poetry religious philosophical poetry and imaginative so religious okay religious philosophical and imaginative so right answer this one now see the next one so opposite uh, oh sorry oppositions are best evoked by hamlet's utterance to be or not to be so students opposites opposites to die or to live right students life and death you can say right so life and death first one and then see the next one students so this is all about what we doing and abstaining from doing between affirmation and confirmation no between action and emotion no but between life and death and doing or not doing so to be or not to be that is the question one of the important statement of hamlet by william shakespeare students you must note down a uh, statement describes correctly the basic assumption of structuralism so the right answer is this one a d and e structuralism is concerned with shines and signification a structuralism changes the long standing belief that li uh, literature reflects a given reality and then see 
all signs are arbitrary but without them we cannot comprehend reality next one so next one student so which one of the following best explains the term para language para language so the right answer is this one second one the ways in which people show their or uh, show what they mean other than by the words they use right students? so this is a kind of um, component of communication or speech uh, see the next one so appropriately to of Harold Pinter's play. So Harold Pinter's plays, uh, you know, comedy of meanings is associated. So meanings in uh, is in air, but it is not pinned down or exploited. Students. So comedy of meanings, basically the term was coined by uh, David Campton. Uh, sorry, students, the term that is associated with David Campton, Nigel Dennis, and F. Simpson, Harold Pinter. And the term was coined by Irving Waddle, right? Drama, drama critic. And Pinter used it powerfully, very well on his own works. Bob Poem students, so Seema Sini, one of the important figure and, you know, one of the favorite one uh, poet um, of NTA. Yes. So, perishable treasure of a body murdered, forgotten, nameless, terrible. So, students, the right answer is, is strange fruit this is the right answer and according to Hesh's civil dis disobedience what two things did Thoreau learn from the uh, night he spent in jail so he learned two things students uh, he concluded that the state is un ultimately weak and then he uh, realized that the neighbors are only friends during good time so right answer this one and see, next one, so which among the following novels include a questionnaire for the readers such as, do you like this story so far? So how interesting it is. So the right answer is students Snow White by Donald Bartlem. Students, this is really 1967 novel by Donald Bartlem. Next one, so these two texts among the following are linked to literary feminism. So these are the two, the yellow wallpaper and the room of one's own. The yellow wallpaper, so this is a short story by Charlotte Perkins Gilman and the room of one's own by Virginia Woolf. So this is an essay that was appeared in 1929 associated with feminism. The right matching students, so you can see text and author. So students, it seems occur that having a text only named G, V, J or M, F, G, M, F like this one students, okay. So the right answer of the question, you can see V. So this is a debut novel of Thomas Pynchon. So Thomas Pynchon students, so match it with V. Harold Jacobson, so you know students, Harold Jacobson's novel is 2014 novel, yes, Harold Jacob Jacobson, so this is J, so yes, and Anthony Burgess students, so you know, G is associated with Burgess, and John Burgess, so M, F, associated with John Burgess students, okay, this is what you can see on your screen students, right? Oh, G is associated. Sorry, students. I'm really sorry for that. Uh, a, a little bit, students. My name is Stick. Please. Uh, sorry for that. Uh, once more. So, Thomas Pynchon, students, so associated with V. And Harold Jakobson. So, Harold Jakobson associated with J. And then see, John Berger associated with G. And Anthony Burgess associated with M, F. So, this is the right matching. Sorry for that, students. Thoda sa. Uh, see, feminist theorist posited a separate realm of female experience. So, students, you know the right answer is this one B and E, Simon D. Beware and Helen Sixors, the love of Medisha and signed Simon D. Beware. So, that is second sex. So, these are the works, uh, one of the important ones. Which one of the these statements defines the scope of semiotics? So the right answer is semiotics is a study of sign system. So simply students meaning nothing else. Next one. 
So who make the following speech in Samuel Beckett's Waiting for Godo? So in Waiting for Godo, bloody meat said so, astride of a grave and difficult birth, down in the hole. And lingerly, the grave digger puts on the forces. So this is the right one answer. Next one, so Paul Grees, Edward Sapper, Ferdinand D. Shusher, and Nancy, San, uh, Nancy Dorian. So you have to match the right combination. So the right combination, uh, Paul Grees, so this is cooperative principle. And then C students, yeah, cooperative principle. And Edward Sapper, so this one is, yeah, third one students, linguistic real, uh, 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 yes, relativity. Ferdinand D. Shusher students, so you know linguistic uh, yeah linguistic shine is associated with him and nancy so death language death death of author with whom students so roland and is the following in the chronological order of publication so chrome chrome yellow suns and lovers mrs dolloway a portrait of the artist as a young man so chrome yellow this is a work by aldous huxley 1921 D. H. Lawrence, Sons and Lovers, 1913, Mrs. Dolloway, 1925, and A Portrait of Artist as Young Man, 1916. So, first of all, 13, so Sons and Lovers must be there, so B on first place. The next one, 16, so 16, A Portrait of Artist, so first of all, students, yes, yes, this one and this one, so B and D, B and D, fourth one, right answer, the students, this is an A and C. So you can see the right answer. Who said of blank words coding an unrhymed, uh, unnamed critic that it is words only to I? So the right answer is students uh, in uh, life of Milton. Uh, students, yes, in life of Milton from the lives of the poet by Samuel Johnson made this particular statement that it seems to be words only to the I about blank words. And now see students the questions based on paragraphs. So students go through the paragraph and then get the right answer students. And I'm not going to discuss these all questions in detail even. Uh, you can see students I'm going to discuss this one. So the right answer here, uh, yes, her here, a harp. So the right answer is uh, metaphor, right? Like a harp, no, not only harp students, okay? The hand of a breeze. The hand of a breeze student, so it means uh, this is what hand of breeze, so yeah, you know students part present soul and whole present part. Seems the stone face, right? So seems the stone face, so C2, first one you can see similarly, seems the stone face and my waking dream. So my waking dream, so this is oxymoron. Now see the next one, so like my waking dream, something like this, students, this, this must be the statement. Next one, so see the answer, students, and these all are the answers based on passage. So please do match, students, and pause the video, by the way, and thank you so much. You can join my paid classes on Unacademy, the learning application, students, and on Unacademy, the learning app, we have wonderful classes for you. And on those wonderful classes, I'm going to discuss with you each and every single topic in detail, students. And download this PDF from my uh, Telegram channel and you can call or message me on this number regarding my paid courses at an academy. And now say goodbye to those boring audio lectures, WhatsApp classes and join live interactive classes on an academy, the learning app and enjoy unlimited learning with India's largest learning platform. And do not forget from 16th of November, I'm going to start a free practice course for all the students. So download application and watch my free classes and follow me there so that you can get notification of each and every single class. So thank you so much and join paid classes. So then if you are going to join, so then use my code AKS Rasbir and get 10% off on your courses. Thank you so much. And please do not forget to share the video.